thoughts of Santa maybe taking center stage for most children. Yeah, some adults, though, seem to be focusing on a new year. As Katrina Weber shows us, they are ready to say good riddance to 2020. It's the season for gift giving. And if Santa has been making a list, a lot of people say the year 2020 should be at the top of the naughty one. Just good riddance to the whole year, you know? But there, I, I will, I don't want to be negative. There's, there were a lot of good positive things that came out of it. It's been rough, but we're getting through it. It's not been a good year, but I'm afraid to say anything because 2021 could say, hold my beer. Foremost among the bad things people say has been COVID-19 and all that came with it. From sickness to separation, closures to Zoom meetings. You miss seeing family and hugging family, I'm sure. Yeah, we all do. Good riddance to, to the, the issue of not being able to get together with one another. You know, we're, we're all celebrating Christmas with our own families. We want a COVID-free year next oh, year. Oh, yeah, yeah. This may be the time of year for visions of sugar plums to dance in our heads, but some people say they can't help but think about what a rotten egg 2020 has been, and they're glad to see it go. Let's not forget the election season, protests and riots, as well as super storms. All of it adds up to a year to forget. Unless you're brand new U.S. citizen Abraham Lisama, his has been full of good news. It was a very bad year for the economy, but actually we actually just got married not too long ago. We bought a house. He's starting a whole new life while most others will be happy just to welcome a new year. Make sure you eat all your black eyed peas, whether you like them or not. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.